what is up you guys hopefully you guys can see me um i caught myself like being real fancy and buying one of those like things that you put on your dashboard but i don't know if it worked like i can't see you guys because i can't flip the screen up so there's that but hey how y'all doing let me see if i can adjust this real quick i use directions to like make sure that traffic is good or whatever like i know how to get to work just in case y'all hear it telling me to turn right or something like that long time no talk guys hold on let me get on out this parking lot first before i start yipping so how are you guys doing i'm so excited i feel like i haven't talked to you guys in forever um obviously i'm on my way to work uh it's 8:40. No, it's earlier than that. It's 8:32. Why is my clock so early? Oh, it's a little sunny too. I forgot about that speed bump. Gosh, my car is gonna be done for. Um. Yeah, we for the chat. Hold on. Sorry that this little wiki wiki thing is like all in your face. But, uh, your girl, car was smelling, so I had to get it clean. But, yeah, uh, so it's been a really long time since I, um, have, like, sat down and chatted with the camera like I do sometimes. And I've been feeling really bad because, you know, like, I mean, I still vlog or whatever, but just knowing that I haven't been giving my YouTube channel the attention that it needs. Right now, um, so I haven't quit YouTube or nothing. Um, I had a few people ask me like if I was gonna stop YouTubing and why I wasn't YouTubing and when I was gonna start dropping videos that I had planned to drop. And honestly, y'all, uh, like I want to record, those, like I am gonna record those videos at some point. But like I'm staying in my boyfriend's apartment because he's having he has an internship somewhere else, and so it's his apartment and like his apartment looks like a dude to stay in there and um i am not a dude and so i don't want my youtube channel to look like i'm like you know staying at a dude's house like i don't want to be recording and his michael jackson i mean michael jordan poster is behind me like that just looks unappealing to me and i'd rather deliver content timely then give y'all not trash but give y'all something that i wouldn't feel comfortable staying up on my channel if that makes sense that should definitely make sense to y'all but yeah so videos are coming it's just a timely manner um, i'm gonna try to get something set up so i can record and it look pretty decent um but if y'all don't get like no sit down tip videos this summer, you will definitely, definitely have them in the fall once school starts. Like when, as soon as I move into my apartment, like I'm gonna start, you know, filming and stuff. So that's that. Glad we hit on that. On, let me merge. Like, 
at home, you know, it's open space, country-ish versus the city where buildings are freaking everywhere. And so just being in Greensboro is like, it kind of, it really does feel like home, man. That's something that I really do enjoy about being here. Like it does, like I don't get anxious going outside versus in DC, that was a whole different story. But um, yeah. Trucks, get off my booty! Ah, get away, get away, get away, get away. Hop on over here. Oh, that's a horrible spot for you to be parked, sir. Um, but yeah, so I'm just getting adjusted to Greensboro. Um, my internship is literally like a 15 minute drive to work, and it's not even like a whole 15 minutes. Like, it the being in the parking lot is like three minutes of me being here so yeah but it's like super quick job I just hop on the highway for like 10 minutes and then I'm at work and traffic isn't like horrible like I used to be really anxious driving in city like traffic like St. Louis Chicago like where I'm from the places I would drive used to give me slight anxiety and so um just being here is totally like different um, I think it's just because I'm actually driving more in the city, so I don't really feel, I mean, I gotta get to where I gotta get to, so I can't really, you know, I can't have a panic attack in the car, because I gotta get to work, so. Yeah. Ooh, I'm glad I wasn't gonna get all this. But, um, yeah, I'm really just living my best life over here. Um, what else? Yeah, enjoying my own flight. I'm enjoying my internship a lot. It's like, I've been here for a month now. And basically, like, I'm interning at the place. It's called Progressive Business Media. And it's a furniture publishing company. So they publish magazines and, like, online news and stuff for furniture and home decor and stuff like that. It's like HGTV, but, like magazine base and so I've been I'm interning there and I handle their social medias for four of their brands uh four or five ish or three four ish I guess and I really enjoy that like a lot and just like y'all know I love me some social media and it's so crazy because like in like corporate world social media is considered you know like marketing not really communications well some places I guess it would be uh, described as communications but like we're at like at Howard it was described as like marketing and so I was really anxious when I applied for the job because I was like I don't really have like my major is not marketing so somebody over me that's like majoring in marketing will probably get it but because of the experience that I have with marketing and you know since I served as a um, Pink campus rep, I was a her campus Howard social media director. Like, I have a lot of, and I based I built my brand from the ground up, and so I have a lot of experience. And that's oh, this is a bad spot to be in right now. And that's basically what got me, you know, my job. Sorry, sir, but I'm not getting inside the big truck. But yeah, so that's what got me my job. And um, like, they were so happy like with me during the interview and stuff. They were just like, you know, you have amazing experience and all this. And that was really great to hear from like a corporate company. Hearing that like my experience on my resume is good enough for you and your company to hire me. And with this internship, like if I'm really successful with it, I will get offered uh, part-time for the school year so I'll be handling their social media during the school year getting paid to do that and then like coming in the office maybe once or twice a week depending on my class schedule and all that so like I'm really loving my internship so much and the other girl that I'm interning with Maddie I don't know if you guys saw her in her life in my last vlog but she's just like the sweetest thing and it's just so cool to just be in an environment where you know all of your ideas are welcome nobody makes you feel like stupid for having an idea and stuff like that 
And it also feels great because like at Howard, I was a film major. So having video skills, you know, that was supposed to be my internship. Whereas like I'm doing social media marketing. Like there's nothing that really relates to my major that I'm doing. And that's okay with me. Like I love experience. Like if y'all know me, y'all know I'm all over the place with what I want to do with my life. And so just to be able to have the marketing and social media aspect under the belt is such a relieving thing. Such a relieving thing. So anybody watching this that's like considering getting internships and stuff and feeling discouraged because maybe your major isn't under the position you apply for, like apply for it anyways. Don't don't give yourself like don't limit yourself just because of what your major is. Like Maddie is a marketing major, the girl I mentioned her she's a marketing major. Um but like me and her be tossing ideas off each other and since I'm like more creative, you know, I have more of a creative mindset, I'll hit her with an idea and she'll be like, okay, great. And then she'll use her business and marketing skills to make that idea come to life and, you know, help me come up with how to execute that idea. So that I like I think that's why I really enjoy my internship. The person I'm working with is amazing and just the environment is just great. It's just so great. But yeah, if you guys follow me on social media too, you probably know that I changed my at names recently. So I gotta make a new graphic to tell you how to follow me on there. But uh, so everything is now underscore Kier Nelson, my first and last names. Um, so feel free to follow me there. And let's try, it's a lot of traffic out today, y'all. But yeah, feel free to follow me. Um, underscore so un, underscore social media. Feel free to follow me on social media underscore Kiera Nelson if you don't follow me already. But if you do, um, yeah, y'all. If y'all do follow me, y'all know that I have recently relaunched Natural Boss. I don't remember if y'all remember like from a year ago during spring last year during spring break to make my own business to like uh, spread the message of Natural Boss like being a natural boss and like just doing what you do so well that like people are people consider it like people see you and they're like oh my god like how you do that like I couldn't do that if I tried stuff like that and so now because I have strengthened over the year like um I took courses dedicated to my minor which is like graphic design and so since I did that I decided to rebrand natural boss as natural boss branding and then I have Natural Boss Productions as well for like when I do video shoots and stuff and if I get more into photography, it'll be Natural Boss Productions. And so I'll put my logo right here so y'all can see it. But I just, I love my logo so much. It's just so great. And um, so Natural Boss Branding helps, you know, helps, it really helps. I really want to help collegiate like people collegiate women specifically women of color um like get their resumes together get them business cards all of this like if a lot of people i know have their own personal brands and so i wanted to help them capitalize on you know that personal branding so natural boss branding helps out with all of that so if anybody needs creative services of any type i'm gonna put my website in the bio it's currently under like a soft relaunch just because i redid the logos the other night and I want to make them, you know, more dual purpose and better looking. And so, get on over. Get on over. And so, if you got, like, the website, it still has the older logo and stuff like that. And it isn't, like, up to date like I want it to be because I came up with a whole new color scheme. Ugh, I came out with I came up with a whole new color scheme and all of that. So, if you guys um, need any creative services, like I said, make sure you go ahead and go to the website in the description box and then like send me an inquiry I have a few people right now that I'm working with so excuse me if it's like uh, if it takes a minute for me to respond you know but otherwise like I'll be sure to respond or whatever but like if you don't need creative services and you just want to follow a few natural bosses because I like feature natural bosses on my page especially my clients like people I've worked with just to help you know help people get ahead I always feel like like I know inside of me that I'm going to be successful I want to be a very successful person I'm going to be wealthy I plan to be influential I want to be like that person that people are like wow like 
she's just doing the greatest things and I want to make sure that when that time comes that I have people that I brought up with me and I don't want to be alone at the top I want my you know people in my circle with good intentions I want them to be at the top too because what good is you know being famous not being famous I don't really care to be famous but what good is like being influential being wealthy and you know living a good life if you don't have people that you can come up with like that just don't make sense <sighs> I'm at work guys this was a nice car talk I feel like I really got some stuff on my chest that is crazy Whew. Um, let's see what else we go what topic are we gonna hit while I'm in the parking lot um, oh like I said my anxiety and stuff is getting way better here I think I think I really think DC and Howard really did that to me and I'm I still can't really get over it just how crazy my life like how crazy I used to feel in days where I would wake up well I still have those days but they're not as frequent and they're easier to combat versus when I was in oh shoot versus when I was in DC y'all my camera just fell that is hilarious Ugh. the devil heard me talking and decided to knock my camera down ain't that crazy y'all the devil he thought I'm still here and I'm still talking ain't I oh I forgot y'all gotta stop talking too oh let's see I'm in the parking lot I got 10 minutes to work I haven't parked yet though but yeah I'm so glad that you guys hopefully this video wasn't too long for you guys uh, like I said this this is a work video and I'll probably do a few of these every now and then yeah so I gotta put my camera up like re put it up so I'm in the parking lot like I said I hope you guys enjoyed this video um I'm gonna go tackle the day and have a good day so now if you guys don't see any like sit down videos from me um you know why so you're not just thinking I'm neglecting y'all but I actually might do like driving videos might replace my sit down videos if that makes sense so if you guys like this video you already know what to do if you're not subscribed yet make sure you subscribe to my channel and if you are subscribed you know comment down below to make me know like you still you still are loyal to me and that you guys still love me but uh other than that I'll see you guys later have a great day bye